Coco! Hi everyone, Chinaboy12 here, and today I'm going to be making a video on Windows Move Maker. And all you guys know that I love Move Maker, that every day I try searching for new transition effects or something new to add on to Move Maker. Just a couple months ago, I came across how to do chroma key and Move Maker. I was talking to my good friend Watchin Z. I asked him if there was a possible chance of making blue screen or green screen effect on Move Maker. He said there was no, probably no possible chance to do it, but he searched anyways. He came across to this website that he gave me the link, and I went to, and I found it very useful that I saved the link as my favorites on my browser and thought about making a video to teach you guys this new trick that I learned. The title of this article is called How to Chroma Key in Windows Move Maker. Chroma Key and blue screening is very easy to do and very common. Every time you watch the weather, a blue screen is used. This tutorial will go over and how to chroma key using a free but useful program called Windows Move Maker. We'll call it a WMM for short form. In this, in this video, I'm going to go follow step by step on how to do blue screen. But also, I'm going to share with you guys tips, warnings, and things you'll need for this process of blue screening or chroma key on your Move Maker. First off, I'm going to share with you guys the tips. First tip is you need good light. Because you need good light to flash on to your background or blue screen or green screen. It will give you the good, good results at the end because if you don't flash nice light onto your background, the blue screen or green screen is not going to succeed as the best possible video you can do, you know. So you need good light first off. You need to make sure your, your camera is not an auto white balance. Set it to a manual and hold a piece of paper up to the lens so it can analyze the white balance with the light condition in the room. That's the second tip. Third tip, if, if you need any more help or have questions, we invite you to go to the following URL and get help. So the following URL, I'm going to post a link of the Windows Move Maker forum where you guys can find all the possible answers and questions that are frequently asked every day. It's going to be in the sidebar as well. And most important, the fourth tip is be creative. Remember with chroma key, you can stand on a blue thing and make it look like you're flying. So the fourth tip is have fun. Have fun making your video on chroma key because I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy making chroma key videos as much as anyone else's. So that's the best tips that Windows Move Maker can offer you guys. Second of all, the warnings. And these are the most important warnings that you can possibly ask for. First warning is, this may not always work if you share the computer with others. Meaning, if you share your computer with 10 people and you're doing chroma key videos, sometimes it's not gonna, always going to work because a lot of people are on your computer. They save a lot of things on your computer. Your computer may not have enough space to do chroma key or save videos. So you always want to keep your computer, if you're doing a blue screen or green screen chroma key videos, always save a computer just for that for yourself. The second warning is this only works with XP. So I thought to myself, I have Vista and I would like to do some potential uh, blue screen or green screen videos someday. So I thought to myself maybe there was a, a way to, for Vista people to make blue screen or green screen videos. So I, follow, so I kept on reading. It says, to achieve blue screen with the Vista version, you'll, you'll instead need the Shatter TFX plugin. I thought to myself, what is that? What is a plugin? So I clicked on the Shatter TFX plugin uh, word that's already in the highlighted. So you click on it, and it's going to bring you to a website called rehenfx.org. And it's a Shatter TFX is a custom plugin 
for Windows Movie Maker version 6. It has extended the range of features available within Movie Maker by providing a framework for creating custom effects and transition with shatter files. That's what the shatter TFX plugging is. And they give you a whole bunch of in including TFX. So, advanced chroma key, uh, picture in picture. I mean, they have a lot of good range of effects that you can actually use when you download this uh, shatter TFX plugin. You can have, there's actually, they supply you a download link for a shatter TFX version. I already downloaded it. And you gotta make sure what your computer is comp uh, compatible to. There's a 32 bit or a, 30, a 64 bit. Mine's a 32. So you gotta pick the right one. But also, a most important tip when you download the Shatter TFX custom plugin is that you have to have a DirectX plugin as well before downloading this Shatter. So, if you guys don't know what a Direct X, okay, I'm going to provide you guys a link in the sidebar for all the information about what Direct X does and what its purpose for. Now, now we got all of our, our uh, warnings and tips that we need, I'm going to share with you guys the things that you'll need for this video, for this blue screen, green screen, chroma key uh, effect. Okay, the things you'll need for this effect is a blue screen or green screen. You can purchase these on eBay for almost 20 bucks, not bad, where you can use an old sheet. And what they talk about is an old sheet. If you have a green sheet, an old green sheet, you can use it. I mean, anything that involves green, uh, a Bristol board, a green Bristol board, uh, but probably you'll need a lot more than just one, so you'll have to have like four and place one, uh, one quarter to another. But it's worth it. I would do it. Uh, or you can use an old, you know, blanket. That's easy. A blue blanket or a green blanket. Easy. You need a mul multiply light sources. So that means you need to have lots of light to shine on your blue screen or green screen. Another thing is video camera. A good camera will work better. You know, I'm not telling you guys to go tomorrow morning go out and buy an HD camera that's worth 700 bucks. Because I'm not saying that. Just an, or an, an ordinary camera. I mean, a camcorder, a little camcorder, a webcam, anything that will involve a good video quality. Okay? That's what you need. Number four things you'll need is the most important one. You need Windows Move Maker. Most computers come with Windows Move Maker. XP and Vista does come automatically with Move Maker, and it's simple. So now that we got all those tips, warnings, and things you'll need, I want to share with you guys the step-by-step -step now. These steps are really important. You do need to follow them step-by-step -step to succeed a blue screen or green screen video. So you ready? Step number one is record your subject in front of a well-lit blue or green screen and transfer the video onto your computer. Okay? Second, you need to highlight the following XML code. And I'm not going to put the code in the sidebar because it's way too long, but I want you to go to this website and highlight the XML code. Okay, simple, and then copy it. After you're done copying it, paste it into Notepad. Click File and Save As, and navigate to the C program. Okay, to the C program files. Movie Maker shared an add-on TFX. If you don't already have an add-on TFX folder, that means you don't. If you don't have a folder into that uh, uh, the program file then make it make one yourself and make one save as uh, blue screen dot xml okay this is plain and simple that's step number three number four is that you need to run your movie maker right away 
Number five is import your video of your subject into Movie Maker and drag it down to the timeline. So after your video is up, bring it into Movie Maker, drag it into the timeline, and then find the picture or video you want to show behind your subject. Import it into Movie Maker and drag it down to the timeline to the left of the video with your subject in front of the blue or green screen. Okay? That's number six. Number seven is now that you that that your two video clips are in the timeline, go to your transition and there should be one that says blue screen. Click it and drag it down to the timeline. Click the video of the blue screen and drag it over the over onto the other clip. Don't drag it too far because that will just make the clip switch places. Keep going until the blue triangle disappears then go back to your hair. It will make more sense when you try it. So what they're basically, they're basically saying is try it yourself for the first time. Try it. If it doesn't work then at least you say you try it. That's the most important thing about blue screen and green screen is that you have to have patience and most important lots of it because chroma key is the one the one thing that's hard to do and to succeed at it number eight is check out your preview and see if it works and then after that click file save movie file to save your movie or if you have the 6.0 publish movie and I'm going to show you guys what the blue screen transition icon will look like so just look at it, and this is what it looks like when you're doing the blue screen, green screen video. Okay? So it's easy. It's very easy. All you need to do is have patience and lots of it, and you'll succeed at what, what you want to do. I think it's pretty sweet because knowing the fact that you can put a, a picture behind your video in Movie Maker, no one thought no one could do this in Movie Maker until someone came up with an XML code and they made blue screen or green screen into Movie Maker. That's in, that's very very good. I never thought it could happen, and I'm happy it, they did do it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, and most important, subscribe. I will also leave every information on my website at channelboy12.ning.com. So I hope you guys all enjoy this wonderful video on how to do green screen chroma key on to Movie Maker. Keep on watching. I will have lots more videos on Movie Maker coming your way. I will have all the information in the sidebar if you guys would like to go click on it. And I'm really happy that Watching Z really helped me into this because this is really a big helpful tip that he ever gave me. So thank you Watching Z. My name is Chenwick12. Take care and have a great day and great night everyone. Thanks for watching Coco Show.